this video, we will look at exam style questions of further differentiation. You will find this on page 513 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at an, an example. The diagram shows the curve y equals bracket 4 minus x close the bracket e to the power of, and I'm just going to make it a bit bigger that we see better. So to the power of x, the point p on the curve has x coordinate of p, so the x coordinate is p. The tangent to the curve at p passes through the origin. So the tangent will go through the origin. Okay, calculate the value of p. So just keep in mind, and I hope I'm going to draw it now good, that p will go through that origin. And maybe I will just move it a little bit. Something like that. Just going to move it still a little bit. Okay. Okay. Okay, but you have the idea. Now, let's start. So why? This is my equation. I differentiate it. Don't forget the product rule. I didn't show it there, but you can see it. So I rewrite the first one. I differentiate the second one. I rewrite the second one. I differentiate the first one. Okay. Then, if I differentiate there and there, I just get negative 1. And I simplify and I got this. Now, very important. Find the y coordinate at p. Okay, so I have the x, but how do I find the y? I take the original equation, the original equation, and I substitute just p in the place of x. And it's just looking like that. So that coordinate point is actually P, and I'm rather going to use red, uh, 4 minus P, uh, e to the power of P. Okay, that is, that is basically that point. Okay. This is my differentiated formula, or my derivative function. So at P, the gradient of the tangent, so at P, I substitute the x value. So if I substitute the x value, I get this. But the gradient of the line OP, which I showed you there, <coughs> OP is the difference in y. So don't forget, this is the point P. And this is the point 0, 0. So to find that gradient, it's the difference in y, so it's this minus 0, and that, um, oh, this is also uh, a printing mistake, I see, and the difference in x. I will just correct it in the next print. Okay, so the difference in y over the difference in x. So, basically p minus 0, and there's the y values, and that I got. Now, the tangent at P and line OP represent the same line. So the tangent at, at P, that gray, um, the tangent at P, the line OP represent the same line. So that gradients represent the same. Meaning that this, can I show you this? This is the same as this. And that's what I showed you there. So this is, the, is, is this. And now, basically, what I can do, now first I try to simplify it. So what I do is I just divide by e to the power of p on both sides, e to the power of p. What I do on one side, I do on the other side, and I'm ending up with this. this. Okay. So just, just don't forget, I'm not ending, then I cross multiply. So as soon as I cross multiply, I'm ending up with this. Then I simplify, take everything to one side, factorize, and that I get the value of P is 2. And that calculate the value of P. It's a bit complicated. And I think it's, it's more that everything stays like in expressions, algebraic expressions. So I would advise you also to go through it a second time. Okay. I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do try now 41. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished.
And let's just check here. Okay, let's start. Number 41. Try now 41. Have to mark it. Just mark A. The parametric equations, and I have to write it down, x is equal to t to the power of 3 plus 6t plus 1, and y is equal to t to the power of 4 minus 2, t to the power of 3 plus 4t squared minus 12 T, okay, move it a little bit, plus 5, plus 5, and that will be, okay, now I'm going to start, so I'm going to say dx over dt is 3t squared plus 6, and dy over dt equals 4t3 minus 6t, <clears throat> squared plus 8t minus 12. Now, can you remember what we always do? We take this one and we swap this one around, the dx one. So it's 1 over 3t squared plus 6. And then, to get that, we multiply. So we said, okay, so dy over dx, if I multiply this two, what will happen? The, the t's will cancel out and I will end up with this. So it will be 4t to the power of 3 minus 6t squared plus 8t minus 12 over 3t squared plus 6. Okay. Now, that's all I have got done. Now they say, that is actually, find dy, that is number A. And use the vision to show, show that dy can be written in the form. So, and they say law, division, they actually mean long division. So basically, what I'm going, I'm going to continue this now. I'm going to do the long division. And I'm going to say, okay, this is going to be 3t squared plus 6, and I write here. And don't think because it's not cancelling out, it's going to, okay, let's just get my pen correct, um, 4t3 minus 6t squared plus 8t minus 12. Okay, now if I divide, so basically I just divide, it don't cancel out, but it's 4 divide 3, so I just write there 4 over 3. And this is only 1t left. But then long division, I multiply. Can you recall? I always multiply and I multiply. So what will I get? I will get this will cancel and I will get 4t to the power of 3. And now this one, so just, just go and say 4 and you can actually see that. And you multiply with 6 and you get 8. And, and remember, it's T, so I write it here with the T. And I draw the line, and I change the signs because I do subtraction. That cancel out, so that's negative 60 squared. Okay, now I divide again. Let's just try to move this. If I divide, I'm going to get negative 2. That's excellent. Works out so nice. So it's negative 60 squared. I bring that negative 12 down. And if I'm, and I get negative 12, wow, that's excellent. I change the signs because I subtract, and what is the reciprocal? It's going to be, ah, oh, um, yes, the remainder, not the reciprocal, the remainder is zero. Okay, so I wrote it in that. So now, go on. Uh, form a t, look, a t minus 2, where a and b are constants. So I can end by saying, um, uh, 4 over 3t minus t at a t oh, minus 2. Sorry. Just correct that. 
minus 2 at um, it it plus b so uh, just therefore the value of a is 4 over 3 and b is negative 2 okay so that was what they wanted there where are constants now number b the strike line is the normal to the curve at the point p okay remember normal and there's the straight line, and it's at P. Find the coordinates of P. Okay. This is working a little bit the other way around, so let's just go. Let's first start with the straight line. Take the straight line and write it in standard form that you can see the gradient of that straight line, of the normal. Okay, so it's negative 2y, and that's negative x minus 9. And that will be, okay, okay, it's unnecessary. You could have do it all in one. Okay. Doing it separate, I divide by negative one. Then I divide by two. So I'm basically having that y is equal to x over two plus nine over two. So therefore, um, gradient of the normal, Let's draw the start like that. Gradient of the normal is a half. So now we go, we want the tangent. Gradient of the tangent. What will that be? The reciprocal and different signs. So that will be negative 2. Okay. Now, don't forget, don't forget that this question state, find dy and use division to show that dy can be written in that form. So I'm going to use that form because I have also a gradient there. So basically, basically, I'm going to now say, okay, so the other form, I, I was writing it, was that 4 over 3 t minus 2. Okay, now I'm basically saying that this, this is equal, this, th because this is representing the gradient, that is equal to negative 2. So I'm, I'm working with this. Um, so I rather won't make that arrow. So I'm going to have 4 over 3 t is 2 minus 2, because that becomes positive. Oh, that's a problem. No, it's not a problem. You can get zero. I divide, so therefore, what is the value of t? The value of t is zero. I was looking for the value of t. Because if I have the value of t, to find that coordinate, I can substitute it into my original equation. Okay. And what is my equa original equation? So let's just hope I can still see it. Okay, so um, if t equals 0, then, and now I must just write it down, x equals t to the power 3 plus 6t plus 1. Okay, and that is then going to be I could have already, if t then, okay. I think I would have wanted to already, but it's all right. It's not going to kill. I'm just substituting that one, and I get one. And I continue that, I say, if t equals zero, then, actually I could have write it already, but just for more, it's the original formulas. Can you see that? The x and the y. Okay, and now I would put in the zero. And everything becomes zero except the constant there. Okay. 
and then I'm ending up. So therefore, I'm coordinate. of P is one by that one and that and that's how you do it.